hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in this video we are going to understand what is meant by deferred revenue expenditure it's really simple and straightforward it's just a basic accounting term which you all should know about and properly get the logic behind it okay and that's exactly what we are going to do now so let's begin see first let's just talk about revenue expenditure and capital expenditure even if you know that let's just revise it a little bit okay revenue expenditure is an expenditure which is incurred to run the operations of your business the salaries you pay the rent you pay the commissions you pay to your employees right the discount you give to uh, your customers all these normal expenses yeah which have a short term benefit and which you do on recurring basis is what revenue expenditure isn't it and exactly opposite to this right is capital expenditure long term benefit right and then it leads to acquisition of assets isn't it when you purchase for example furniture uh, computers uh, vehicles cars buses trucks for your business then that's what that's capital expenditure because it lasts for a long period of time long term benefit is there isn't it and when you do those things you are kind of expanding the capacity of your business the earning capacity of your business right so that's capital expenditure is that clear simple understanding of revenue expenditure and capital expenditure okay now after this we have something called as deferred revenue expenditure now what is this deferred revenue expenditure where did this come from understand here in this deferred revenue expenditure it has both the characteristics it has the characteristics of capital expenditure as well as of revenue expenditure and we have to understand properly how is that so okay how does this has both characteristics okay so let's begin it is an expenditure which is incurred in the current accounting period but the benefit yeah the economic benefit from that expenditure will be derived we will get that yeah will be derived for more than one accounting period incurred in the current year in you know in the current year but the benefit is more than one accounting period 3 or 5 years or 4 years like that is that clear so here if you see properly what's happening mostly for expenses yeah for revenue expenditure what happens incurred in the current year and the benefit is also in the current year only in that month only yeah the salary you have to pay salary to your employees every month yeah in the entire year all the 12 months you have to pay the salary whereas this deferred revenue expenditure it's not like revenue expenditure no not completely like revenue expenditure it is incurred in current year but the benefit will be more than one accounting period and mostly this expenditure will be huge okay now let's take an example and understand this properly okay let's say for example you formed a startup company okay and now you want to capture the market and make a strong brand presence so what did you do was you uh, you know got a brand ambassador a big celebrity as your brand ambassador for example let's say salman khan right so you got 3 years contract with salman khan and you paid 7.5 crores to him in this current year only and the contract is of 3 years it can also be of 2 years 5 years yeah 4 years but just for an example it is of 3 years so now what will happen how you will do the accounting treatment of this in your startup company understand properly this 7.5 crores will be treated as what deferred revenue expenditure why not simple expense why not simple revenue expenditure because because understand this expenditure is huge yeah the example is what heavy advertisement expenditure the expenditure is huge and you know the benefit is more than one accounting period the contract is of 3 years is that clear for 3 years you will have benefit of this advertisement expenditure normal advertisement is of course what revenue expenditure yeah the normal expenditure let's just say you are running instagram ads right so that instagram ads you are running every month every week isn't it so that's revenue expenditure but if you are doing something huge which has a long term benefit you know 2 3 4 years 5 years then that will be what that will be a deferred revenue expenditure is that clear so this 7.5 crores is what it is deferred revenue expenditure now how are you going to treat this it's really simple this 7.5 crores this expenditure has a life over here so what are you going to do is you are going to take that 7.5 crores the entire expenditure and divide by the you know 
the years for which you are going to receive the benefit three years because three years contract is there so you're going to divide by three and the answer which you will get is what it's the you know the amount that you can take to your income statement as an expense the amount which you can treat as an expense in the current year so this 2.5 crores will go in the income statement in the profit and loss account as an expense normal expense and the remaining 2.5 minus 7.5 so the remaining 5 crore will go to balance sheet as an asset okay balance sheet as an asset and then in the next year in the next year what will happen again 2.5 crore will go in the income statement and the remaining 2.5 crores yeah 5 crores and 2.5 you have taken in the income statement then the remaining 2.5 crore will be taken in the balance sheet and then in the third year that 2.5 crore which was left that will be entirely taken in the income statement as an expense so like this in three years this 7.5 crores will be written off okay this is how you treat the deferred revenue expenditure whenever deferred revenue expenditure has been incurred first what do you do you estimate what will be the life yeah for how long will we be receiving the benefit out of it so we come to know it's three years okay you can make can estimate also here it was exactly there it's three years because three years contract was there so on that basis we have expensed it we have taken it to the income statement okay this is how you are going to do it but now you have to understand why is this not called capital expenditure why are we calling this as deferred revenue expenditure because understand when you spend this 7.5 crore you did not get any asset or anything isn't it you just paid 7.5 crores you know the just payment of 7.5 crores and you just have this contract isn't it so there is no creation of any asset because it doesn't lead to acquisition of any asset for example if you have purchased a bus or truck then you have the truck now isn't it after one year you can sell that truck if you want and get cash but here it's not like that you have paid 7.5 crores to salman khan after one year let's just say you don't want salman khan then you can't do anything you can't get your 7.5 crores back or something like that okay you can't sell your contract or something no 7.5 crores is completely gone so that is why this cannot be a capex this cannot be a capital expenditure what is it it is deferred revenue expenditure is that clear okay you can't convert it in cash or something deferred revenue expenditure possesses the characteristics of capital expenditure and as well as of revenue expenditure how is that understand it is revenue expenditure in nature because advertisement is what it's revenue expenditure mostly Hu heavy or huge advertisement expenditure means here the benefit is more than one accounting period long-term benefit long-term benefit is a characteristics of what capital expenditure is that clear and the huge amount also capital expenditure so it has both the characteristics is that clear and how is the accounting treatment understand properly when you incur deferred revenue expenditure what you have to do you have to see for how long you are going to receive the benefit if it is for four years divide by four if it is for five years divide by five and then each year that amount you will be taking to income statement to the profit and loss account as a normal expense and the remaining amounts will keep on going to balance sheet okay and then at last at the end of the period what will happen completely that asset yeah that deferred revenue expenditure will be written off okay now this 7.5 crore will be written off in you know three years period okay every year 2.5 2.5 2.5 will go into profit and loss is that clear simple and straightforward okay and then there is another example let's just say you know to create this startup company you have incurred lots of cost different different costs legal fees and all that okay to form the company so all that cost and all those uh, expenses you can you know group that in one account that's called as preliminary expenses and you can capitalize that and you can take it to the balance sheet okay and then write it off over the period of three or five years okay that's also another example of uh, deferred revenue expenditure because when you're forming the company when you're incorporating the company that company will last for a long period of time long-term benefit is there now isn't it that's why you are capitalizing that preliminary expenses whatever the expenses you have incurred to incorporate your company to form your company okay so that's another example fine so this is all that was there to discuss about deferred revenue expenditure i hope you have understood so whenever someone asks you what is deferred revenue expenditure then you should know this okay it's an expenditure incurred in cy benefit is more than one accounting period and it's huge and you also should know why 
it can't be called as capital expenditure it has both the characteristics it doesn't lead to acquisition of any asset okay and the accounting treatment also is that clear right so that's all for this video see you in the next video bye